All right, y'all. So I just pulled up to Cahaba Brewing Company for their Black History Month festival going on today. They've got 14 black-owned food trucks, uh, 14 um, black-owned vendors, and then four beers that are done, that were made by um, black vendors and stuff like, black vendors and brewers. Uh, I'll probably only get like maybe a beer, but I'm about to go eat. I'm trying to walk around. I'll take a few pictures, maybe a video. And, you know, I, I know what I want to finish. I'm going to finish with Not Your Average Leaf because they have some cobbler egg rolls that I've heard about that are just supposedly chef's kiss. Then there's a couple other places that I've really been dying to try. Uh, I believe um, Fat Charles is over here. And that stuff always looks so amazing. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm hoping it's here, hoping he's here, hoping I'll get to try it. And I will let y'all know, and I'll do a little bit of recording. Um, if I feel brave enough, maybe I'll talk to some people. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. All right, it is packed. packed out for what it is with the rain. Got a good bit of food trucks out here. Fat Charles is out here. That's probably where I'm going to go. That's your average lead. The Nolan's Bow Boys. I've heard that one's pretty good as well. All right, so I'm having to refilm this. But I just grabbed a beer. It's the uh, Pink Boots IPA. It's really good. It's got some good hot flavor to it. Uh, it smells great out here. I'm about to walk around and find me some good stuff to eat. All right, so the first truck I decided to go to was the Fat Charles Barbecue Truck. And I got their brisket tacos. Just look at that. I mean, that looks so good. I'm about to see prop my phone up dig in all right so fat charles has been around for a couple of years if they've been around longer i apologize uh, they're always posting beautiful stuff on facebook and instagram um, next time i stop by them i'm gonna try their mexican pizza but i've been craving some tacos uh, there's steam rolling off of these i'm gonna try not to burn my mouth I say this often, but that's probably one of the best things I've ever eaten. It's so hard to get like good brisket anywhere. And the fact that it's just shredded and so so moist and flavorful. Oh my god! That special sauce on there. I have no idea what that is. Uh, those tortillas. I don't know if they're made in house, but oh, I'm gonna take a bite of the tortilla by itself. It's almost like they're almost like a beeria style. That is great. Paired with this beer, it's fantastic. I know I said appetizer, entree, dessert, but I went straight for entree. There's another truck I'm going to check out in a minute. Um, I might end up getting something huge, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to try not to spend all my money today, but it's looking like I will. I'm going to dig into this. train and got their Cajun Ranch cheese fries. It's great, smells great. I walked over to Not Your Average Leaf to get her cobbler egg rolls because I've been wanting to try them. And she would not let me pay at all. She is super sweet, super nice. Uh, she gave me an entree. I don't know what it is. I haven't opened it yet. Oh my God. It's her vegan oxtail. So vegan oxtail, sweet potato casserole, black eyed peas with green beans and a roll. Oh my god. I'm trying this first. Damn. That is that oxtail is amazing. Oh, 
amazing. Let's go for the fries. And that all the that's all vegan. Completely vegan. And I'm a mess. That's all from not your average leaf. I wanted to get oh great cheese sauce, great on the seasoning. I wanted to get their Cajun Ranch okra, but they don't have it. I'm gonna have to go find their standalone store. Um, I might tag the address in the comment in the uh, description. Uh, I'm going to their standalone store and getting some good stuff. Uh, definitely the Cajun Ranch okra. Every order they handed out looked beautiful. And then for a drink, I went to Lemonade Junkies. It might be backwards. I got their Junkies flavor, which is like their suicide. It's like a mixture of all flavors. That is so good. It's got a perfect balance between sweet and sour. It doesn't make you cheat. It's quench like it should. Um, it's so great. I almost forgot about the egg roll, y'all. Covered in icing, absolutely dripping. Uh, oh man. Like I said, this is all vegan, got a little bit of peach in there. Now that I've killed that food, gotta give props again to Nacho Average Leaf. No, the vegan, the vegan oxtails were amazing. Uh, these cobbler egg rolls. Oh. So good. So good. The things that her and her employees are doing on that truck just blows my mind. I mean, I went the vegan route a couple, about a year and a half, two years ago. Not completely vegan, but enough to help me feel better with, you know, just in general. Uh, but everything I've tried is fantastic. Anytime I have a chance to go by there, I'm going to go by there. Uh, they deserve all the props they're going to get. Everyone else that's been here today has been amazing, super nice. Like I said, the few places that have similar locations, I'm gonna keep going and trying. So if I didn't get to anybody today, I will. Uh, all the vendors that I've talked to were very nice. I'll post a couple pictures of them up. Uh, the only thing I tried from a sample was, I think it was like a smoothie or some kind of shop. They had little samples up. I got a blackberry one. It was great. Um, uh, if I was in the mood for it, I would have went and bought a whole one. If I get out there before they shut down, there's a treats truck. Um, I try to take pictures. I can slow down and pause on the videos and figure out where all these places are at. Go support them. Uh, they're amazing. Cahab is great for doing this. They've got a great patio, great area. Uh, their food truck was up and running. I saw it getting some business, which is good. Uh, everywhere, I mean, the, the tacos from Fat Charles were great. I've got to try their Mexican pizza. I've got to hit them up whenever I can. Um, everyone out here was like, had reasonable prices. Uh, the DJ playing some good hits. Uh, I'm stuffed. I mean, I'm absolutely stuffed. And I got, I mean, I'll probably take this egg roll, the second egg roll home just because I wasn't expecting to get all this. Uh, but, sorry for that. But, this place, I mean, Cahab is great. Well, it's good on them for doing this. Uh, glad everybody was able to enjoy it. I mean, I'm not, just everybody here, that, uh, nobody was having a bad time. Everybody was popping out their umbrellas, ponchos. I unfortunately had neither. I mean, I got one in the car, but I didn't think about grabbing it. But, so I'm a little soaked. I had. I was going to try and do some more stuff tonight, but I think I'm just going to DoorDash for a couple hours and go home. 
got a decent day planned tomorrow, but yeah. Uh, there's a guy making crepes. I'll throw that. I think I threw that up there. Uh, it's all amazing. Everything here's been great. Everybody gave 110% on what they were trying to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, look everybody up on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you and handful of them have TikToks. Uh, I think I. Yeah, I took a picture of the places that I tried. Google, you know, Google them. Look them up on Facebook. Uh, hopefully, y'all can hear this video pretty well. Hopefully, it's not too long and boring. Um, but yeah, today was a ten out of ten on everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just in like that food, that borderline food coma, just rambling. So. Y'all enjoy yourselves and go out and find some good stuff. Can't remember if I mentioned it yet, but the sample I got from the smoothie place was amazing. And then a little bonus, I didn't try it, but some friends that did said this crate place was phenomenal.